Hello again and welcome to part two of our bulletin double shot today. This one we're going to be clarifying another matter with Blue Origin, in this case the New Shepherd mystery and the mystery of the 15 G's. <laughs> Okay, for those of you who saw my last episode about this situation, everything about the whole New Shepard launch seemed to be okay, but at the same time, a little fishy, a little bit of lack of information. Congress wasn't terribly happy about it, demanded more transparency. Apparently, they got it. But still, we had this mystery cargo on board where they posted very briefly on LinkedIn that the cargo was subjected to 15 G's worth of acceleration. Um, this is something that Scott Manley reported on only. I really haven't seen it much of any place else, but I can confirm for you that that was actually legitimate. However, there are a lot of details also to add in. You see, when the escape module is engaged, or rather the abort system, then the entire capsule is indeed subjected to that much G-force, 15 Gs worth of acceleration. And by the way, I'm getting this from sources at Blue Origin. Yes, some people at Blue Origin watch my channel. Thick-skinned people, let me tell you. But in any event, that does happen. But the chairs that the passengers are riding in, they are very sophisticated pieces of equipment. And they evenly distribute the acceleration out and kind of sink down into the floor to compensate for the acceleration. It's far more complicated than that, obviously. But that entire process actually makes up for the lack of a G-suit for the passengers uh, that the passengers passengers aren't wearing, and so as a result, it reduces the net effect of the G-forces from 15 down to about 8. So of course, here's the question. Now that the secret's sort of out about the cargo, the 15 Gs, all that, why is Blue Origin not put out a press release explaining all of this and just telling us, well, yeah, it is 15 Gs, but not for the passengers. They would have been really shaken up, but in general, they would have been fine. Well, <laughs> my sources can't explain that. And honestly, there's a little bit of frustration involved there as well. But nevertheless, that does seem to be the case. It just could be that because there wasn't a whole lot of media coverage of this particular incident, Blue Origin is just staying, staying quiet about it, hoping it'll go away. I don't know. I'd like to see them actually come out and officially debunk this, but I am satisfied as to the uh, explanation that I've received from, uh, from my sources. So in any event, uh, we'll see how things go with future missions, and hopefully nothing like this will come up again. Now there is one more issue to attend to. I have a viewer here in the UK who's been trying to come and see me at various meetups, has not been able to do it, somewhat disappointed about all of this, and his birthday is tomorrow. And so uh, his girlfriend asked me to wish him a happy birthday, and so that's what I'm going to do, although perhaps a little bit unconventionally. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you, my f***ing <laughs> <laughs>